Hi, in previous lecture I discussed how we can insert element into max heap and how we can delete the maximum element from the heap. In today lecture I will discuss heap sort. This algorithm is discovered by JWJ Williams. It is a two stage algorithm. First stage is heap creation and second stage is maximum deletion. First, we will create a heap from the given array. Second, we will delete the root as root is the maximum element and that we will do n minus 1 time. Let's discuss heap shot algorithm. The heap shot algorithm start by using build max heap to build max heap on the input array a index starting 1 to n where n is the a length. I already discussed build max heap procedure that will build the max heap from a given array. Since the maximum element of the array is stored at a of 1, that is the first element, we can put it into the correct final position by exchanging it with a of n. So what we will do, we will simply swap a of 1 with a of n. We will swap first element with last element, then we will decrease the heap size or we can say we discard the last element. Next, we need to again restore the maxi property by calling the procedure maxify a1. So this heap shot algorithm then repeat this process for max heap of size n minus 1 down to a heap size of 2. So what we are doing in a heap shot algorithm, first we will create a heap by calling build max heap procedure. Then we will swap a of 1 with a of n, we will swap root with last element. Next, we will decrease the heap size. Next, we need to call maxify a1 to maintain the max heap prop. And this process will repeat for size n minus 1 till down to size 2. So, heap shot algorithm, heap shot 1 r is given. First step, build max heap, it will create the heap. Next, for i, a length down to 2. A length means that is R A length. Let's R A length is N. So for I N down to 2. Exchange A of 1. A of 1 is the root with A of I. Then A hip size will be A hip size minus 1. It will decrease the hip size. Next maxify A 1. So it will again restore the hip property. Let's analyze the time complexity. Build max heap procedure, it will run order of n time. Then for i equals to a length down to 2, let a length equals to n, so n down to 2. Then exchange a of 1 with a of i, that will call once. Then heap size will decrease, that will call once. And max heapify, max heapify procedure, that running time is order of log n. And how many time you are calling that? We are calling n minus 2 times, so running time will be n log n. Max if I one call log n, n time we are calling, so n log n. So this heap shot running time will be n log n. The heap shot procedure take time order of n log n since the call to build max if take time order of n. And each of n minus 1 call to max simplify take order of log n. Order of log n for 1 max simplify call as we are calling n minus 1 times. So n log n. That is the running time for heap shot algorithm. Now you understood the heap shot algorithm. Let's apply on a array. So example sort the array 2976588 by heap shot. One array is given that we need to sort by heap shot algorithm. First step, build max heap. These are the index starting from 1 till 6 and elements are 2, 9, 7, 6, 5, 8. You can do directly on array or if you are confused, you can create a tree. Like 2 is the root, it's child 9, 7. And 6, 5 per child of 9 and 7 child is 8. And we call max pair procedure from half till index 1. Means we will start from index 3. So index 3 contains 7 
and index 3 child will be index 6 so 6 contain 8 so 7 child is 8 is 7 greater than 8 no so what we'll do we'll simply swap 7 and 8 so here will be 8 here will be 7 next we'll check for index 2 so 9 child are 6 and 5 it's fine as 9 value is larger than 6 and 5. Next, we'll check for index 1. Index 1 contain 2 and its child are index 2 and index 3. So, how can find index of its child? Multiply 2 that is left child multiply 2 plus 1 that is right child. So, 1 multiply 2 means 2 is its left child and 3 is its right child. And for index 2, left child will be 4, right child will be 5. 2 multiplied to 4, 2 multiplied 2 plus 1 that is 5. Now 2 child are 9 and 8. So is 2 greater than 9 and 8? No. It fell parental dominance property. So we need to swap. Compare 2 with 9, 9 is the larger. Compare 8 with 9, 9 is the larger. So we will simply swap. 2 with 9. Next again we need to call max if we find index 2. So 2 child are 6 and 5. 6 is the larger. We will swap 2 with 6. So 2 come here. Now this is a max if 9 child are 6 and 8. 6 child are 2, 5 and 8 child is 7. Next for i value equals to 6 we will exchange a of 6 with a of 1. So let me exchange. After exchange 9 will come here and 7 will come here. 9 is the highest element or maximum element. Next will decrease the heap size or will delete simply 9. So after deletion we got this array. Next we need to again call max if we find a of 1. Now this is the binary tree 7 child are 6 and 8, 6 child are 2 and 5. You can directly do an array. If you are confused then create the tree. Now 6 child are 2 and 5. Yes, 6 is larger than 2 and 5. Next 7 child are 6 and 8. 7 is larger than 6 but 7 is smaller than 8. So you need to swap 7 and 8. So after swap we got this. Now this is a max shape. Next for i equals to 5. We will exchange a of 1 with a of 5. Means these two value will exchange. So after exchange we got this. Next we need to decrease the heap size. We need to delete this. Now after deletion we got this. Next again we need to call max simplify a. 1. So 5 child is 6, 7, 6 child is 2. Now just check is 6 greater than 2? Yes. Next is 5 greater than 6 and 7? No. 7 is the largest. We need to swap 5 with 7. So 7 will become root, 5 will come here. Now after max if 5, we got this. This is a max here. Next for i equals to 4. We need to exchange a of 1 with a of 4. Means we need to exchange these two root with the last element. So here 2 will come, here 7 will come. Now we got this array. After that we can delete the last element or we can decrease the heap size. So we will simply delete 7. After deletion of 7 we got this array 2, 6, 5. Next, we need to call max if we find. So, 2 child are 6 and 5. Is 2 is larger than 6 and 5? No. So, 6 is the largest. We need to swap 6 and 2. After max if we find, we got 6 to 5. So, now for i equals to 3, we need to exchange a of 1 with a of 3. Means 6 will come here, 5 will come here. So after swap we got 5 to 6. Next we need to discard the last element or we can say we need to decrease the hip size. So after hip size decrease we just got 5 and 2. 
next we need to max simplify as 5 is larger than 2 so it will be same next for i equals to 2 we need to exchange a of 1 with a of 2 so this 2 will exchange after exchange we got 2 and 5 next we need to decrease hip size means we'll just delete this we got simply 2 and we need to run this algorithm from i value equals to n till i value equals to 2 so this is the last so first we delete 9 next we delete 8 next we delete 7 next we delete 6 next to delete 5 next to delete 2 so this is the sorted array 2 5 6 7 8 9 so every time which element we are deleting that we can maintain in that same array and that will be our sorted array if sort is a in place algorithm as we are running inside the same array we don't need any extra space so that's why hip sort is a in place algorithm like quick sort more sort is not a in place algorithm and here running time is order of n log n more sort running time is order of n log n in best case worst case and average case quick sort running time is order of n log n in best case average case and in worst case it is order of n square while hip shot running time is order of n log n for all best, worst and average case. With this, I am finishing hip shot. If this lecture is helpful for you, please like and subscribe. Thank you.